I'm gonna teach you right now and challenge myself to make a sauce using fruits and vegetables. Hey, I'm Chef Kyle from Kyle's Creations, here to make simple and healthy recipes for everyday living. If you're new now and you love appetizers, especially healthy and delicious ones, click that subscribe link and let's get started. Today, we're gonna make a wonderful beet root glaze. So you can use this to go with any vegetable and you can use it as a glaze for chicken, for lamb and duck. Right now we're going to make this for a perfect crostini with some fresh ricotta. This is going to be a wonderful appetizer or starter. And actually when you think about it, most cooks think that you need to use wine and you need to use butter to infuse a lot of flavor into a dish. Roots have so many flavor compounds that you don't need to add a lot of other ingredients to make them shine. In this case, we're gonna use some dates, a nice thickener and natural sugar. For the vegetable, we're gonna add meat juice. First step, we're gonna toast a stick of cinnamon and caraway seeds, and we're gonna make the beetroot glaze. Okay, I have my pot on medium heat. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna toast the caraway seeds and the stick of cinnamon. That's going in. Half a teaspoon of caraway seeds are going in. You're gonna toast it for at least a minute, starting to smell the cinnamon. It's toasting right now. You don't need much time to toast this and to bring out the flavors. We're gonna add the beetroot juice. We have a cup of beetroot juice going right in. Yeah. Got about six slices of fresh ginger. I'm gonna throw that right in. And we're gonna add some cane sugar. I'm gonna let that dissolve. Two peels of orange right in there. Okay, I've reduced it for about five minutes. All the flavor has infused, and now I'm just gonna strain it. And now I'm just gonna remove the seeds from these dates. And if you guys wanna know more information about the ingredients or the seasonings that I'm using, please click my WebMD links in the description below. Just give this a rough chop. Get that in my pot. Add the beetroot juice with the sugar in there. Let this reduce for about five minutes. Once it coats my spatula, it's ready. Now we're gonna shut it off. We're gonna add some ground cinnamon to it and a pinch of salt. Mix that in. Add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Four teaspoons of fresh lime juice in there. And we're just gonna mix this in. The second step, we're gonna prepare the bread and toast the bread for the crostini. What I like to do is split the garlic clove, rub the cut side on the bread. Perfect for two to four people. A little bit of olive oil right on top. Just gonna spread it around. Gonna protect the bread and add some moisture so it doesn't dry out. And we're just happen to be using a wonderful sourdough sliced bread. Right, now it's going in my toaster. And we're gonna toast that till it gets a little bit of color on there. So five to seven minutes. Okay, bread is ready. I'm gonna let it cool. Don't want it to steam. So I'm just gonna let it cool on top of the knife. Third step, we're gonna combine the ricotta, the fresh ricotta we have, the toasted bread, and the beetroot glaze together so that you have a wonderful starter for your meal. Okay, now we're gonna plate this up. So I'm gonna cut the bread. So we're gonna do little crostinis. Okay, so teach you guys a little party plating trick. We're gonna go in with the fresh ricotta. Notice I'm making little grooves where we're gonna add the beetroot glaze in between. We're gonna add some fresh lime zest to this. Wonderful, look how natural and beautiful that looks. A little bit of fresh nutmeg. Just grate it right on top. So many options here. You can do with crostini, you can do with ricotta. I really love ricotta because you're using the whole milk ricotta and it's very light, mild, and you can add so many different flavor combinations to it. You can add zest, you can add grapefruit, you can add other citruses, add a touch of salt. Take some fresh blackberries, cut them in half. They take the fresh basil, take the basil leaves, roll it tight. 
Now we're gonna add the beetroot glaze. What I like to do is grab a good amount here and use my other finger, stretch this glaze or jam. You could serve this warm, you could serve this cold. And I could still smell all those wonderful warming spices. You have that wonderful texture between the beet juice and the dates. So I'll take a large blackberry and a small one and I'll look for the little gaps really make this come to life. Look how simple this appetizer is to make for everybody. Now a little bit of the fresh basil. Look at this wonderful crostini with ricotta. You got some fresh lime zest on there, wonderful blackberries. So that sweetened tartness is really gonna balance the earthiness and the sweetness that's coming from this beetroot glaze. It's not very acidic, it's actually wonderful, which means you can actually use it for so many other dishes. That's the best part. So, I'm gonna try one right now. Cheers, guys. Okay. Mm. Wow, guys, I am really blown away by this. It is so beautiful. There's so much sweet warming spices coming through right now. It's opening everything up. I really wanna have a nice meal with this. I'm picturing having a hearty soup or like a duck glaze, something wonderful and hearty. It's like a perfect bite with a little bit of sweetness and the creaminess from the ricotta. And once I finish that bite, it's like everything is dissolved, but it's so wonderful, it's so light, it's so refreshing, and it's a wonderful way to use fruits and make that the star of the show and really showcase what you can do by turning different sauces and ingredients and actually making it the star of the show. When you look at this, you're thinking of blackberries, you're thinking of glaze, you're thinking of fall, you're thinking of a perfect party platter appetizer that you can serve for family, friends, even your kids can have fun making this. An eight-year-old can make this. This is the wonderful thing about Kyle's Creations. I give you so many different options, and now I'm gonna give you another option for a perfect dish, but now I'm gonna give you a homemade one-day focaccia. Click that link at the end. You can learn how to make your own bread in one day, and you can serve it like this. You can serve it with any sort of dip or sauce that you guys would love to use. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the benefits of beets. Beets are great, wonderful, and rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, and also include soluble and insoluble fiber, so it helps digestion. Beets have also been proven to help the heart as well as lower blood pressure, and it may also improve stamina and athletic performance. Beets also have quite a bit of sugar, so it's to be noted if you have any health concerns, if you have issues digesting uh, foods with a lot of sugar, please consult your doctor or dietitian for more information. See you guys next time for the next video.